Hi there, in my previous videos we've been controlling the drone with an RC radio. In this video, I'll be setting up and configuring the drone to fly on telemetry radios. Drones can be flown with RC radios that is single in direction, meaning you can send signal to your drone one way to control it. Telemetry radios were added to send drone data such as GPS position, altitude, speed and so on to the ground station. In addition to this, telemetry radios are bi-directional meaning you can send signal to control the drone, thus you can eliminate the RC radio. Plug the gamepad to PC. I added a USB extension so I could tape it on the PC. Then plug in the telemetry radio. To install the telemetry radio on the drone side, I have to access the PixHawk Autopilot. Plug telemetry radio on the Telem1 of PixHawk. Then mount the radio on the battery side with double-sided tape. Plug in the drone battery to power it up. Open up Mission Planner app. Go to Actions tab and then click Joystick button. Joystick window will pop up. On the left is RC1 to 16. We only need to assign joystick axis to four of them. For RC1, click Auto Detect. This will prompt you to move the axis you want to assign. This will be our role. For RC2, we will assign the pitch. RC3 will be our throttle. And RC4 will be the Yao. Don't forget to check the reverse box for RC3 throttle. Next is to assign functions to buttons. For button 1, we will assign disarm function. Button 2 will be to arm the drone. We will also need to assign flight modes. For button 3, after detecting the button, press settings. And from the drop down menu, select stabilize. For button 4, we will assign Alt Hold.
for button 5, we will assign loiter. For button 6, we will assign RTL, return to launch. For button 7, we will assign auto-tune. We will use this function to tune the drone mid-air on later video. Once done, save the settings. Connect to drone by choosing the appropriate port and selecting 57600 baud rate and click connect button. Wait for parameters to fully load. Go back to Actions tab and click Joystick button once again. Verify that everything were saved. Now click Enable button. This will let Mission Planner acknowledge the gamepad. You could also see a Disable Joystick button on the main window just in case you want to disable it. Now click Setup tab. Under mandatory hardware, choose radio calibration. This is just to determine the right directions for the controls. Moving the pitch forward on the gamepad should decrease the pitch bar and moving pitch back should increase it. This is the only control among the four that moves the bar opposite. The rest should correspond to the stick directions. Test the roll. Test the throttle. And also test the yaw. Lastly, this is important. We go to config tab full parameter list. On the search bar, search for pilot throttle behavior. Change the value to 1. This will allow you to arm the drone in loiter mode without pulling the throttle down. Then click right parameters to save it. You can now disconnect and close mission planner.
In loiter mode, it will let you let go of the sticks and the drone will just loiter in the same spot. You can move it right, left, forward and back and remain in same position once you let go. For alt hold mode, only altitude is being hold. The drone will tend to drift when you let go of the sticks, especially when windy. You have to constantly correct its position. You can still move the drone around. For stabilize mode, you have to constantly correct both altitude and position. This will give you more freedom to control the drone. For RTL, this will return to launch automatically the drone where you armed it. Now to test the failsafe, Mission Planner has a feature that if the gamepad is accidentally pulled off the PC that it will activate a failsafe and prompt the drone to RTL, as can be seen after we unplug the gamepad.
Another failsafe is when we unplug or the telemetry radio loses communication with the drone. Mission planner freezes, but the autopilot inside the drone will still continue to initiate the RTL failsafe, as can be seen. So yes, we can control a drone with a telemetry radio once it has been configured with an RC radio. Telemetry radio has an advantage of flying a drone since it can gather all that information from the drone and stream it to your laptop. The disadvantage is the latency or the slow response since all that information being gathered is being streamed serially. Also, the resolution on the gamepad is not as fine as the RC radio. But if you're leaning more into the semi-autonomous aspect of the drone, then Telemeter Radio is a way for you to start exploring. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe.